this is one video i wouldn't really mind if people don't watch it i know it sounds ridiculous why would i even make a video if i don't want people to watch it but don't worry i will tell you why and the reasoning behind it but before that let me tell you a story this morning when i sat down to write a script for a new video i had no idea what kind of video i was going to make or what would be even about i sat there for half an hour pen in a hand trying to come up with the best possible idea 45 minutes later i still had nothing today is the first time i felt like i had nothing that will add genuine value to people's life but after those 45 minutes something incredible happened i started getting distracted by my own thoughts You might have felt this as well. You know when you are doing something like watching a TV or driving a car, you are physically there but you are mentally somewhere else, thinking about your future, your life decisions, your past and all the comebacks you could have used in the argument. I was going through exactly that. I still had pen in one hand and paper in another. I still wanted to write a script. but my mind had something else in its mind i started to think about my life my careers my decisions and when that happens it's like going down the rabbit hole now i've been making videos for last 5 months roughly 28 videos so far whenever i make a video i have only one thing in my mind and it's not that don't worry is How can I provide most value to the viewers? How can I share my experience most people can relate to? How can I make people's life easier? I have done this 28 times for other people, but today I realize what if I make one video for myself? No, not the ones that people advise their younger self. but what if i made a video advising my older self instead a video that i can look back in 10 years time to recall the start of this journey the beginning of this era the sacrifice i made for my future self the effort i put in to be where i'll be in 10 years time obviously 10 years from now i would still have those memories of big victories and challenges But what if I remind myself it's not the biggest struggles or victories that mattered the most it's the small ones that brought me the true happiness that encouraged me to keep going when I fell down but that had equal ability to knock me down and make me surrender when I look back 10 years from now I want him to realize that every decision I made was to make his life easier his interest in my mind and his happiness in my heart so let's start hey 35 years old me damn 35 you are old my man and i don't know why i'm nervous i'm kind of nervous talking to you if you are watching this and i hope you watch this here are the things that i want you to know first i hope you are in a better place i hope that you have achieved what you always wanted to achieve I hope you are happy with your life. I hope that you have no regrets or complaints about the decisions I made over these 10 years. I hope that you look back at me and feel proud of what I have achieved. I hope that you have embraced every single challenge as an opportunity for growth and learning, emerging wiser and stronger with each experience. I hope that you continue to nurture your passion and interest never losing sight of things that are important to you. I hope that you still have enough courage and confidence to defend what is rightfully yours because let me tell you life is not easy. Life has never been easy. And I know that it is hard to remember every single doubt you have faced over these 10 years. and it might not even be relevant now as you have seen the bigger picture i don't know you might even be laughing at me thinking how is small and irrelevant my worries were but you have to believe me when i say this it is hard to keep going it is hard especially to believe in something when you can't see the future 
when there is not much certainty, when you don't know what tomorrow looks like, when you have put so much of time and effort in something that you don't know if any of it will pay off. And the thought of, what if I fail? What if I lose everything? What if I never meant to be successful? What if I never find the right path? I am leaping on a blind faith, hoping that it might lead me your way. I am trusting my fate, my destiny, that if I work hard enough and put enough dedication, I will be able to fulfill your dream, our dream. Let me tell you, 10 years is a long time from now. Things change, people change, even ideas change. I don't know what kind of view you have towards life right now, but I want you to see where we started and what I'm going through to get you where you are today. I want you to mark this day and compare it exactly 10 years from now. You can take a photo or even make a video comparing our lives 10 years from now. So here is how we started. So today is 23rd of June 2024. It's already 2024 and I'm 25. If you don't know this place or if you have forgotten this place, this is David's place, my cousin, and we are in his living room. I am recording this video on a Sony camera that I bought last year with my saving. I am recording video with the cheap mic um, that I recently bought. You can see a few lights at the back that I bought from Timu for around 20 to 30 dollars. I will show you some cameras as well which should be on the screen right now. This is not the best setup but this is what we got right now. In terms of YouTube, you'll see that if you look at past 4 to 5 videos, I had hired a YouTube editor. But recently I couldn't really justify spending hundreds of dollars when my videos are doing so poorly. So now I've decided to do my YouTube editing myself. You won't believe it. After 5 months of video uploading, we have only 56 subscribers and our videos usually get 50 to 60 views as well. Life is brutal my buddy. And the worst thing is I don't have a big plan or a revolutionary ideas to make you successful. I don't have a magic wand or a genie in a bottle to guide me. I thought it was genie for a sec. I'm scared. I'm truly scared what future looks like, what kind of life you are living right now. And sometimes these thoughts keeps me awake at night. I don't know where this path will lead me. The road between you and me has never been this unclear. From down here, the mountain you are sitting on the top looks bigger than ever before. Especially in last two weeks, I've started to question my every decision the decision to start this YouTube channel. Is it really for me? Am I wasting my valuable time in my 20s to do something that will never be successful? Am I losing battle against time? Am I a failure before even starting anything? These doubts are real. You know, you think to yourself, why would you even make videos when nobody watches it? After that, I didn't record for two weeks. And then I realized something. The realization of why did I even start it in first place? Who am I doing this for? Now I will tell you this. No matter what happens, I won't give up. I'm tired, I'm worn out, I'm exhausted. But I won't give up on us. I won't give up on our dreams, I won't give up on you. I won't settle for a present when I know that our future looks limitless. I will get back every single time until I conquer that mountain that stands between you and me. Getting to you is not easy, but as long as I continue, I'll keep moving forward one step closer to you. There is no running away, no second choices or no surrendering now. My destination is fixed. Your present is already written. I just have to figure out how to get to you. Nothing can stop me. I'm ready. I'm ready to make my point. I'm ready to fight until I win my battles. I'm ready to sacrifice everything to get to where you are today. So my advice to you is don't give up. 
I know the problems will come when you are 35, when you are 45, even when you are 55. But one thing I've learned is to show up. There will be good days and there will be bad days. It's so much easier to show up on your good days. But it is even more important to show up on your bad days. Because it's those bad days that separates you from the masses of mediocrity. Especially when you are not feeling it. When you are doubting yourself. When you are thinking that whole world is trying to conspire against you. When nothing is going right. That is a time to believe in yourself when nobody else is willing to. This might be the lowest point in my YouTube journey. I don't see no certainty or progress on the horizon, but no matter what happens, I will keep going. No matter how hard life hits, I will keep standing up. I will do whatever it takes to make it work. I have come too far to give up now. So 35 year old me, no matter where you are or what you are doing, know that you have come long way. You have faced challenges, celebrated victories and grown in a ways that you never imagined. So keep believing in yourself, keep pushing forward and most importantly, keep being yourself. And for the viewers, if any of you have managed to stay this long in the video, I would like to say thank you. I thank you for your support. I thank you for being part of this journey. But not only that, I want to leave something for you as well, a piece of advice. Just like how I created this video for my future self, I want you to take a moment to create something for your future self as well. It could be a video, a letter, an email, or just a recording. Share with your older self the things that you are going through right now, the challenges you are facing, the things that brings happiness to you and one thing that you never want your future self to forget. Trust me, your future self will appreciate it. I used to send myself email every year, reminding myself of vivid memories and details of my life at that moment. And by the time I received it, I used to forget about it, making a wonderful surprise from the past. You can use website like futureme.org. By the way, this video is not sponsored by them. I just think genuinely it is a great tool. So I'll leave the link in the description for you to try. Alright, think about it. 10 years from now or even 1 years from now, you can look back and see how far you have come. Just like what I'm doing with this video. It is a powerful exercise for self-reflection and personal growth. So go ahead. Take a few moments today and create something meaningful for your future self. Thank you for watching and if you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means world to me. Until next week, keep believing in yourself and never stop striving for your dreams. I'll see you next week.